So you're working on a Squarespace website and you want to be able to share it with others while it's in progress without them logging into Squarespace. Or maybe you want to preview your site on your phone or other devices to see what it looks like actually live. Here's how to do that. So I'm logged into a Squarespace website here and I'm going to first go to settings and then site availability. And you can see that it's set to private. You won't be able to choose public until you've paid hosting to Squarespace and you're ready to make your site live. So in the meantime, what we're gonna do is select password protected, which means that anybody that has the password to this site can see the site. And you could set this up to be something pretty simple. I'm just going to say test here and save it. So here's where things get a little tricky. If you're logged into Squarespace, you have to open a private or incognito browser window to preview the site. Or you can just log out of Squarespace and do these steps without opening a private window. On your phone, if you're not logged into Squarespace on your browser on your phone, then you can just send yourself this first part of your URL in the URL bar here. So Squarespace automatically generates a built-in domain for you here and it's going to be something.squarespace.com. And we're gonna grab this whole URL through the .com. We're not gonna grab config because that would log us into Squarespace in another window. So just copy that, and that's what you can share with people who aren't logged into Squarespace for them to preview the site. That's what you can use to preview it on your phone. And then it will bring up a lock screen for you and you can type in your password. So for us, we actually need to open an incognito window because I'm logged into Squarespace here. For the incognito windows on other browsers, sometimes that's called a private window. So I'll just open that up here. And then if I paste in this URL, so we start with HTTPS and we end with .squarespace.com and click return. Then we have our password box and we can just type in our password and now we can preview our site. So we can preview this on other browsers, on other devices, and it just makes life so much easier. Now, if you've already set up your own domain, so if you go to settings and domains here, let me close this window. If you've already connected a domain or purchased a domain from Squarespace and it's here, you don't have to use that built-in domain and you don't have to do an incognito browser. You could just use the domain that you've connected here in any normal browser window and then enter in your password. So that is the best way to share and preview your Squarespace website with others.